So the fidget stick chord team is made up of three guys. Um, there's me, um, there's Joe or Spud as he's kind of otherwise uh, sort of known on, on, on fidget stick and other social sites, um, and John um, who is also known as Funker um, or Zomo or Lemon or whatever else uh, you might find him coming under. So. Um, Joe is a fantastically creative uh, guy, he's, he's got an amazing eye for design and he, he just can solve any, any design, um, web design or creative design issue that I throw at him. Um, I worked with Joe at a previous uh, job and uh, quite a while back he, he, he made the decision to actually go it alone, leave, leave his day job and um, he, he started very briefly uh, freelancing but then created his own little uh, successful design agency doing um, uh, 3D concept retail design and has gone more into kind of web design and interactive as well. Um, you should check out his site actually, I mean I don't want to drag him away from the work I want him to do but um, credit where credit's due, you know if you want some web design or 3D design he, he's a good guy to, uh, to speak to. Uh, check out his website www.spudcreative.com um, and, and John uh, was introduced to us, um, um, to, to Joe and I, by a kind of mutual acquaintance. Um, he came really highly recommended for his coding skills uh, or wizardry as I uh, you know, kind of refer to it. Um, his uh, social media technology skills and experience were, were, were not great. Um, I mean, admitted when we got together and started uh, down this road, um, you know, social media technology wasn't all that accessible, no, certainly not as much as it is now with all these different platforms where you can basically build your own, your own social networks. But, um, you know, it was something he was keen to, to learn more of and I'm all for, you know, people, people developing their skills and, um, and, and areas of interest. So, um, you know, we soon figured out that, that this guy was, was, was a bit of a genius. You know, anyone that plays, you know, army games, um, you know, first of all, I, I kind of, um, you know, raised my eyebrows to a little bit. Um, but when those 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 dwarves and elves and things are actually represented by binary code, you know, imagine Warhammer with noughts and zero, you know, ones and zeros. Um, you know, this guy is, is either bonkers or or is, a, or is a bit of a genius. Throw in some some crazy trousers um, and a bit of mumbly uh, uh, tech speak, and um, you know, you got you got someone on your hands here and. Um, you know, I'm amazed constantly about what he knows, what he's able to find um, uh, in terms of code and technology and making things work. So, um, um, John, he also has his own very successful uh, development company. He has some big contracts with some big organizations. Um, and I also suggest that, you know, if you want any of that, so I've worked on, he's a great guy to speak to as well. Uh, I think you can find him at um, www.zomo.co.uk, uh, www Z-O-M-O. Again, don't give him too much work because I need him <laughs> I need him to do stuff for me. But anyway, he's a fantastic guy and he comes, certainly comes highly recommended by me. Um, but my biggest challenge with him has been, you know, especially in the early stage when all we've got to offer is 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 our sweat, our sweat equity, people call it. Um, you know, and, and for someone like that, and for for Joe, it's a constant compromise between the time equals money for them. Um, you know, in terms of the, the the fee structure that they have in their their business versus you know the bigger picture, and then that's what I have to constantly kind of um, do battle with, and and. Um, you know, and, and sort of communicate to the teams there is a bigger picture, a bigger opportunity and uh, and it's well worth them investing their time. So, you know, that's been that's that's been a, a challenge and it and I'm sure it will be for some time yet, but um, so th there's some real things that, that can be learned from that. Um, so we have our team. Um, it was just an, in, it was a structure that I had planned on you know, from an early stage where, you know, you have me as the commercial sales, uh, business development, idea guy, um, the vision bearer, the, um, the, the brand guardian, you know, whatever it, whatever you want to call me, I get called more than that, um, but um, 
I knew that I also wanted a, a, a really strong team of creative and technical um, skills and, and experience around me and so I'm really fortunate that we, we've got a really great great team, core team, um, um, with e each with you know, equity um, in the business that it, um, as it grows so, uh, so that vested interest and um, you know it hasn't been easy forming that, that relationship um, you know from, from back when we first got together it has been a bit of a, a roller coaster both kind of emotionally and also in terms of you know operationally um, you know, and, and the main thing has, has been about you know gaining the trust from each other that you know we've got each other's best interest and, and, and we have that best interest because we have the best interest for uh, the community, for the brand, for the company um, you know, and and it's taken quite a while actually to to develop that. Particularly as um, since we started, it, what we've done has been very remote um, in, in terms of uh, our, our locality and and how we communicate. Mix in with that, obviously, the constraints of our day jobs, and you know, it's been a, been a real challenge. Um, um, but we have persevered. Um, it, it's a lot better now, and I, I hope we're in. You know, we're going in the, in the right direction in terms of improving that constantly. Um, but that is something that um, you will have to deal with in terms of you know going down uh, the road of creating a new company. Perhaps with people you don't know. Perhaps with people you do know. Maybe maybe you're, you're getting together with friends or family and, and, and mixing that into the business. Well, and that that will present its own inherent challenges, and it's not you know it's something we've had to deal with. Something. That, that everyone has to um, deal with in terms of how you you build that, but um, you just got to stick with it. You got to you got to have the right um, attitude and um, your principles and make them clear, communicate them clearly. You know, perhaps I didn't do that early enough, and you know, and I've learned a lot from this process. Um, that that just being very clear in terms of what that vision is um, is really important in terms of gaining that trust. But then you have to deliver on it constantly, consistently. It's only through that constant and consistent delivery that people actually see you're not full of crap, and it's not all just lip service. Um, um, so. One thing that's the, 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 the beauty of the job that we now do as this management team for, for this website and this community is, is that it allows us to be totally flexible. Um, and by that I mean it, it, any member of the team can effectively work from anywhere around the world as long as we've got an internet connection. Um, and you know, in fact, as I record this right now, Joe is out in uh, uh, Lake Wanaka, enjoying the trails and the mountain views of of New Zealand, um, whilst redesigning Fidget Stick 2.0, and um, you know, carrying on as well his his um, his uh, uh, day job in terms of design work that that he has for other clients as well. So you know, but he's doing that from out there, and we manage our time and our communication. Um, he's there for six months, so you know that's that's an awesome thing for him, and it's great for us in terms of meeting new people, expanding our network, um, uh, generating content in terms of his activities out there, mountain biking every day, and doing all this cool stuff. Um, and and at the same time, John about now is you know sh sipping some Aussie Chardonnay from his hotel room in Sydney. Um, he he's out there chopping up code for me and and and. Uh, creating new features and, and, and modifying things um, for the launch of our new site, sitting in the sunshine and you know fortunately the internet and communication tools have never been better than they are right now and there are a lot of options um, and that's a whole other subject um, in its own right in terms of which ones to use um, you know we, we tend to use a combination of Skype mainly is fantastic. We, you know, we we can't beat it currently. Um, Google Wave, which is going to make an interesting podcast because I know that's it's it's a hot topic right now in terms of where Google Wave is going to go. There was a lot of hype about it. There's been a lot of negative press about <coughs> about about it. And well, we use it. We use it as a collaboration tool. And um, I will talk <coughs> talk talk a bit more about that. Um, obviously, um, email, instant messenger, everything like that. So.